we are going to look at a few different ways to move around your world. Often when you're working in a creative world that's not a flat world, you'll do so because you want to work around uh, specific structures or working around the elements of a specific biome and you want to check those. And uh, there's a few different ways to get around and to find those things so that you can either return to your creations or find a new place that you want to make your creation. The first thing is going to be the locate commands. So if you open up your chat window and type slash locate, hit space, you can see you can find different structures that generate. So if you wanted to find, say, a pillager tower, uh, you can find pillager outposts in the list. And when you execute locate pillager outpost, it's going to find the closest one and it's going to give you this message. If you then open your chat back up so that this stays, you can see these green coordinates. You can click on those and it'll teleport you or uh, excuse me, put the teleport command right in there and then you can enter and go right to the pillager outpost. The next is going to be the locate biome command. And this we can find any uh, of the biomes that we want. Say you wanted to plan out a build for one of the uh, Savannah plateaus, same thing. And then that will teleport you to that biome that you found. That's gonna find the closest one to you. Next nice shortcut is going to be teleporting around using command blocks. So if you have a specific area that you want to be able to return to, uh, such as in the three levels videos, I will set everything at zero, zero, and then I'll put some command blocks there to teleport around. So first thing is get a command block. You can't get this through the creative inventory. You have to do a give command. So slash give, and then your player name and command block. That's gonna give you one command block, and then you can place that down. Right click on it and it's gonna bring up the command editor. In this case, I have given it the teleport command, so slash TP, and then I've done the at P that's gonna be the closest player, and then the coordinates that you wanna to teleport to. Then you put a button on it and all you have to do is hit your button and boom, you're there. You can then also place a command block at your build with the same thing, just a command to TP you back to where you started off from. And this is also really useful on multiplayer servers uh, that are a creative mode because then you can have people with their own different area. So you can teleport, you know, maybe 20,000 blocks out and you can have kind of your own area to build that's uninhibited by the area. Then with a command block to teleport back or things like, hey, this is the farm that we're working on together, but we have a specific location for it. Or, uh, you know, here's the port, here's to the end portal if you need to get back there. So this can be useful that way. And then the final one is going to be a mod, so you are going to need fabric for this, but this is the Zero's uh, mini-map and world map mods. This is the world map view of a dev flat world that I had going on, and I can see everything that I built is aligned in this map, so I can see, okay, here I was working on the farmhouse, and uh, over here I was working on my boat. But additionally, you can also add waypoints to these things. So I'm going to right-click where I want it, create waypoint, I'm going to give it a name, boat, confirm, and now I see I have that waypoint there. I can right click on that now and teleport to it. This allows you to keep everything separated out so that you have plenty of room in between it. In fact, these ones are even kind of close. Whereas something like this here, I can just make it in its own little area all by itself and then still be able to easily find it. There's also an option for showing the coordinates on screen. So you can even use this in survival as well. But to me, this is a really great tool for uh, creative to be able to move on to another build and then maybe come back and revisit this later or okay i'm done with this and ooh, now i have another idea to make this you know two ticks shorter something like that zero's mini map and world map the link to that is going to be down in the video description so again you do need fabric for that but this can be really nice for um, moving around and locating your builds that's gonna be it for this video hopefully that's better than keeping just a text file with coordinates in it that you have to look through and that can help you out so we'll talk to you later have a good one bye